Hi, I'm Adrian Cargill, and I'm an instructional coach at Haynes Northwest Academy for WFISD, or Wichita Falls Independent School District. When I'm not in my professional teacher dress, I'm usually dressing up, acting, singing, and incorporating digital technology to help my students understand concepts and have a meaningful experience. This is why I want to be a Google trainer so that I can help others incorporate digital technology to make things fun in the classroom so that people can remember things. I was one of the original digital pilot program members for WFISD. I'm also the campus webmaster and the campus STEM coordinator, which means I help incorporate technology so that people can have problem solving skills. Not only am I a breakout EDU designer and publisher, I also have done presentations for Region 9 through their math and science conferences and technology conferences. I've presented for ed camps. I've also presented for the Chromebook Academy series for TCEA and in Austin, Texas for TCEA. Today, I'm going to show you how to incorporate the Explore tool to make presentations more aesthetically pleasing. So let's say you want to do a presentation for an audience called What Can Google Do For You? As you can see, I've already created a text box, but instead of having to change my fonts and move the boxes around, I can use my Explore tool and it can have generated layouts for me already made. You can get to Explore here or through your tools. So once you hit on the Explore button, it'll give you options that you can choose from for specific layouts. So let's choose this one today. Then I'd like to incorporate some images so I can talk about Google tools. So let's say I want to talk about Google Docs. Just type it in the Explorer, click images. Got a cool doc image right here. And then let's talk about Google Forms today. Just drag that image over. And of course, we can't forget the good old Google Drive. Go ahead and drag that one over. Now, I can spend time manipulating these images and putting them wherever I need to put them. Or I can let the Explore tool do it for me. So here's a cool layout that I'd like to use. And now my presentation is ready. Thank you for listening and have a great day.